Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, JB. Y'all already see that title, man. Another game of Madden, you feel me? Hopefully, I can try my luck again today with the Baltimore Ravens, man. For some reason, they giving me luck because y'all know I don't play Madden, you feel me? I just be watching shit on YouTube, you feel me? But it is what it is, man. If y'all new to my channel, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell. The GT is insane, crazy, 92A, you feel me? We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And, and he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Well, partner, it's pretty simple. One thing you don't want to see defensively, on the very first snap of the game, some guy running free like we just saw there. Heck of a start for this offense, no doubt. Dancing to his left. First down and more for Jackson. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Jeez, I mean, what more can you say about Lamar Jackson? We know that he's got the quickness and the agility, but, you know, if you wanted proof of his straight line speed, look no further. They'll try and throw for it. Watkins diving. He's got it. Tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They're in control. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hurts. It's running for Roger, but it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. Well, you're already down on the scoreboard, and now, Charles, you go out there very first play, throw the interception. That defense, they're going to have to bow up. Yeah, and let's see how they handle this because we always talk about reverting back to what you practice. When well, you practice these situations, it's called sudden change. You don't expect to be out there this fast, but you are. Do you go out there with poise or do you go out there with panic? Panic could get you scored on. Again. Touchdown! Sammy Watkins, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Just an unbelievable start less than a minute in. They're already up two touchdowns. You talk about getting out of the gate fast. I mean, beyond fast. That's warp speed, isn't it? To jump up with two scores like that in less than a minute's time, your confidence has to be elevated. I haven't even found the right height for my chair yet. <laughs> still adjusting. You mean you found a way to sit down? I did, yeah. Wow, no, I quick. guess I got that accomplished. I'm still standing watching this occur. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play call because a back get a little confidence in it and let him fling another one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second and 12, Hurts. Give me that. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. And not 
the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs with the rest of the ball game. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. What? That was on us? Come on, bro. Come on, EA. Now it's Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. off the field they're going on fourth and five here's Jackson steps away to his left 20 and he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line fourth down conversion plays you usually think one two three yards maybe 10 not there what a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Charger, this defense, so many things to worry about I in the red zone really area, but you'd have to almost charger, think that Lamar field. Jackson running the football, that might be number <laughs> one. It should be number one, and in this portion Come of the on, field man. where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Harris. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. I was on it. I was on it. Come on. Seven yards yay. To pick up there. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But well, you're down. Wow. How do you get back in the game? Maybe a 
establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message oh, is that there's no shit. panic from the head coach. Oh, He's shit. already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. On first down, Hurts. Give me that. Oh. Nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second Come down. On. An incomplete pass I'm on watching. first down. That leads to a second and ten. Yeah. From the gun, it's Hurts. And then he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. He'll fire it deep for Give me that. Thank you. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Three first half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. Only needing two yards on second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not a whole lot there. The defense himself will get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Jackson on first down. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting... Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Here's a give to Dobbins. Get the butt, get the butt. And he gets it down to the 32. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Throwing is Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. Not much there, only a yard. Throwing again on second down. Jackson got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Third and two. Here's Jackson. Flush to his right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And we've we hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 12 more yards there and another first down. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. To throw is Jackson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. Here's Jackson to throw. This is caught. They're able to hold him to three there. That leads to a fourth and goal. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
They go play action now. Jackson. Oh, lucky man. Intercepted. Picked up by Steven yeah. Nelson. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will bring this all the way back oh, out to three. the field. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Second and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Oh! Look at this. Oh! But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. So first and ten now from the 30. Throwing his hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They come up first and ten at the 16. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's brought down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Hurt sets up to throw it. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. Justin Houston making his presence felt there in the backfield. Now the Ravens going to use one. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This deep. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh! But it's incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there, back third down. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. They'll throw now on the final play. Flushed out right. What? This is caught, touchdown. Oh. <laughs> yes. Running back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. That's Both cool. these teams making their final halftime adjustments. <laughs> We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon God. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Balluting the pressure right. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. From the corner, Jimmy Smith blitzes for the sack. Well, remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Oh, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays 
to his highlight reel, okay? So when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. It hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. But And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. The throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turn. No, we're going now. We're going now. At this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Jackson. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Jackson. Yeah, yeah, back up, back up. Back up. To his right. <laughs> and he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up oh, decent man, yardage. Come on, come He'll get on. eight on the scramble yeah. there. It'll be second and a couple. Now a handoff yeah. for Dobbins. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Jackson. Yep. Yep. In for the touchdown. J.K. Dobbins from a yard out. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Here we go, here we go. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches mm. and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see. Give me that! And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack. He wide. Give me that. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They said be better with the football open. on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you. Try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. On oh, second and ten. Hurts. 
His throw incomplete. And Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. Third down here. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is... Give me that! He's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's what? off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. That's tough. That's tough. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The extra effort after the game makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft Man, now fire. that everybody just throws the ball all over Man, the place. Fire. and gets, them, gets big yardage. Playing with fire. Goodness, another interception. It's Chuck Clark picking Come on. up. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. It's a first down and more for Dobbins. And finally taken down at the 26-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Right back to Dobbins on first. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Got a man. It's Brown. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Jackson on target to Brown for a Ravens first down. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon. And that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff. And they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah, that was me. That was me. Get up. Get up. Give me that back. That was me. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. I don't know why I did that shit. fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this part? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That was a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And what a great call defensively there because they decided to bring pressure off the corner. And a lot of times, those big linemen, they can't account for the speed of a defensive back. And that time, he made a beeline right for the quarterback and got it. The cat blitz, tough to defend. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Yeah. Then he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. And you could say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team. But really, this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one. And I noticed you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball. Give me that. And now here is another interception picked up by Patrick Queen. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30 yard line. Boxed. Man, that's how you do it. Man, you already see it, man. 
It's your boy JB. If y'all new to my channel, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell. We drop bangers, man. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.